Thank you, Benedict. And boy, it was an action-packed night. If you missed the commentary on Joy FM, <laughs> you missed. So make sure you catch all subsequent games. Or, of course, the analysis continues throughout the day, as Benedict said. Now, today on AM Talk, we're going to continue our analysis and conversation on the December 17 referendum. There's so much to learn there. And today we've got amazing guests to help advance our thoughts in that direction. Dr. Emmanuel Akwete is Executive Director of the Institute for Democratic Governance. He will be uh, here and you will be hearing also live from Dr. Charles Rekungube, Chief of Policy Analyst of GIPO. Fantastic stuff. Stay tuned for that. Uh, and what if all your prayers and wishes were granted? All of them. What if the wishes and prayers of everyone else around you are also answered? Would that be paradise or hell? Well, a small struggling community is about to discover why wise people say, be careful what you wish for. That is what Uncle Libo White's newest play is about. And we'll give you further details on the show later. It's called God, You're Fired. And it shows us what happens in a world where wishes become horses and everyone is riding. Mm, fascinating stuff. All right, now, uh, listen, let me ask you, don't you just hate it when your data runs out right in the middle of something very important? Well, Surfline Ghana's uh, first only true 4G LTE network has introduced a bundle that is guaranteed to give you total peace of mind all throughout the month. Surfline is, is, uh, has the always-on bundle, which gives you unlimited data, and it never stops for the whole month. No need for unexpected expenses in the middle of the month on internet data. The always-on bundle from Surfline guarantees that. Dial star 718 star 77 hash to purchase always on. And of course, the always on bundle is also available at Surfline Shops, Shell Shops, Express Pay, E Transact, Slide Pay, Hubtel, and Corba Electronic Platforms. Surfline always on bundle, pure unlimited bundle that never stops. Surfline, it's about time. Right, so uh, coming up, kind courtesy of Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank, will bring you AM Business. It's our weekly feature on Wednesdays, and today we're focusing on the Benso Oil Palm Company. That's all to come. Established in 1976, well, with a current workforce of close to 1,700, well, Benso Oil Palm Plantation decided to expand its frontiers. And guess what? They are actually employing close to 500 outgrowers whose lives have totally been transformed. But for me, the hook is that the oil palm plantation is generating its own electricity of one megawatt. That's about 90% of their energy needs. We're here to re Really dissect what happens at the Benso oil palm plantation. So, well, come with us. In 1997, 69 year old Peter Louis Mensa got 4.5 hectares of palm trees from the Benso oil palm plantation. As a resident of Hadum Banso, one of the three communities benefiting from the plantation, he tells the team how his life totally transformed. Oh, without this, nobody at this our catchment area knows how to go to bank for something or go and have loan. We don't have any, we don't have anything at bank, we don't have any savings. But how can we go to bank and attend loan? No. But with this thing, they send our money to the bank. And with this, you can go to the bank and request some money and they will give it to you. But with the help of Bob, every month they will pass your money to the bank and they will make the decision. Oh, I've got about 5,000 Ghana here. Which ideally you wouldn't have been able to access. Oh. <laughs> when the living condition here, when? when? I and mean, when will you see it? Even with the age, when you live here for about 40 years, when will you see that money? Yeah. As old as Peter is, Benso even goes further to support him to harvest the fruits. Farmers are paid close to 1,000 Ghana cities every two weeks, making close to 2,000 cities a month. I have come to town to speak to other farmers. Agnes Amu, a widow, also got one of the farms in 1997. Since then, proceeds have been used to get other farms and even support the extended family. They are starting on now, many are no more school. But me to me, the show on now, the division of us, or be so very vast. 
Me also soon I start to say, Miss Midan, I can cram me. What's the sustainability footprint of the Benso oil palm um, plantation is clearly evidential here. They currently do some 6,800 hectares of plantation, but the ability of this um, to sustain the factory needs of the Walmart refinery is really below capacity. They can do just 10% of the oil needs of the refinery. Um, nationwide, we actually provide the refinery just about 40% of oil palm. So what the refinery is left with is to do some 60% importation. Over time, Unilever had decided they were exiting plantation business. So the impetus to look for land and to expand was not there. It was not part of management strategy. But even if it were, experience from other plantations have shown that today, if you want to acquire a piece of land, one contiguous land of 5,000 hectares, the number of chiefs you are going to have to bring together and the number of dissenting groups that you are going to bring together it's almost a nightmare, you know. So that's, that's the biggest problem. But even if you were able to handle this, the land tenure system, and you know that our lands are held by the chiefs in trust for current and future generations. So getting them to release a land this size is a very big challenge. And it's, it, ha it has to take the state with deliberate of energy in-house. And that will translate to something like, just only for the kilowatt hour charges, will be something like 2.3 million Ghana cities. And when they put in their maximum demand charges and um, all their taxes and things like that, it could be, it could be as high as 3.5 million Ghana cities. If we uh, to have more raw materials, then the amount of power we even generate is going to go much higher than that. Then we could be talking about doing maybe 98%. Because during the first half of the year, when we have a lot of the raw materials available, we do around 96% of the power we generate in-house from um, the steam turbine that we have. The chief of the community, Nanakwando Brempong, is overwhelmed at the benefits Bob has brought to his community. From touched houses in 1976 to the current development, including rural electrification, what he wonders why chiefs are not releasing lands for the development of their communities. People who, didn't, who couldn't have afford you know, to send their their children or their wars to senior schools, in fact, could do it because of, of the income, especially the smallholder system that came in. That's going to help a bit. People have also been able to build. In fact, it has actually gone to improve the lives of the, the, the people of uh, uh, Edinburgh. So my advice to my colleague chiefs is that they should at least release lands for such projects. The footprint of this agro-based company is also here, the leading school in the district and perhaps one of the top ten in the western region. Two girls from the school won an award during the celebration of Girls in ICT Day with the Ministry of Communication. I won a laptop and an iPad. Last year, three of our students went to Adisada. Almost 20 went to GSTS. Yes. We had um, girls ICT training and during the workshop our students came out best and even um, and in December they will be going to Accra and they were given awards too. The school has churned out intellectuals and Gordon is one. Growing up here, we, we, my dad had a farm which was at the boundary of the, of the company. So, on Saturday mornings, we would walk through the plantation to the farm. And as we move on, you would see workers 
uh, working, and it was interesting to see them. Imagine that someday you may come back and also contribute your quota to the development of this company. And one of the things that uh, I saw here, you know, were the managers and the cars that they drove. You know, we worked. So when I was a child, I, I told myself, when I grew up, I'll be a manager. I didn't know the type of manager I wanted to be, but my, my aspiration was that I'll be a manager so that I'll have a car. That was my, so that was one of the things that influenced my, my, my academic and even my career. Retired 15 years ago, the 77-year-old teacher has his daughter also benefiting. And me especially, it has helped me a lot. Poor teacher. How could I have sent my child to uh, Legon? Uh, Le bon. But through his uh, the scholarship, he has, I have been able to do that. Bob, last, for instance, last year, for instance, it was about 4,600 that they paid. I didn't pay even a peso. So it has helped me a lot. And presently, as I'm speaking, He's now in Benin. Benso Oil Palm has so far moved some of its operations into Nigeria, where they are developing 30,000 hectares. Sustainability runs through the very fabric of this oil palm project, with several benefits, including employing close to 2,000 people. All Benso Oil Palm Plantation is begging for is land to increase its footprints, including employment, education, and green energy. Odilian Tiamwa, Joy Business.